Welcome to the math panel. In this particular lesson, we are looking at some exam tricks on fractions as well as standard forms. Let's begin by taking some examples. I used two feet of my money. What fraction will be left? So if I use two feet of my money, the fraction left will be one minus two feet. And that gives us three feet when you simplify. Example two. Jenny spends a third of her allowance on sweets and a quarter of the remainder on fruits. What fraction was spent? What fraction remains? So, the amount or the fraction spent on sweets is one third. So from the spending on sweets, we have one minus one third, which is two thirds. That is left after this expenditure on sweets. Now the set of the remainder. This is where you should take note of the remainder. It therefore means I have to get the remainder first and look for a quarter of this remainder. The remainder here is two thirds. So a quarter of two thirds will give me one sixth which means she spent one seat on fruits and two thirds was left before this one seat was spent. So she spent one third on sweets and one seat on fruits. The total of spent is given by one third plus one seat, which is equal to a half. And therefore the fraction left is one minus a half, which is equal to a half. Let's take another example. 20% of fuel is used by a car and a half of the remainder. So our emphasis here is of the remainder on a generator. What fraction is remaining? So 20% is used by a car and a half of the remainder. So let's first start by looking at 20%. When 20% has been used, 20% is one fifth. So the fraction that is left after 20% is used is 1 minus 1 feet, which is 4 feet after foiling the car. We are now being told that a half of this remainder, the remainder is 4 feet. So a half of 4 feet, which is 2 feet, is used by the generator. So the total fraction used is 1 feet plus 2 feet, which is equal to 3 feet. And therefore the remaining fraction is 1 minus 3 feet, which is 2 feet. Equally, note that to convert from fractions to percentages, we just multiply by 100%. For example, one quarter to a percentage gives one on four times 100%, which is called 25%. Similarly, to convert from decimals to percentages, we just multiply by a hundred as well. For example, 0 0.125 to a percentage should be equal to one, 0 0.125 times a hundred percent which gives us 12.5%. Let's now just review some few basics on standard form. A number of the form A times 10 to the power N is said to be in standard form, where A lies between ranges from 0 from above to 10 from below. So it lies between 0 and 10. And the number n is an integer. These are some examples. You have 2.15 times 10 to the power 5, 3.78 times 10 to the power minus 3. These numbers are in standard form. Recall, 35.93 times 10 to the power 6 is not in standard form. The decimal point must be after the first digit, and that first digit should be a whole number. Alright, write the following in standard form. You have 21.5 times 10 to the power 5. Note that the decimal point must be after the 2. So this gives us now, when you move the decimal point to the position between 1 and 2, it means you are multiplying all through now by 10. 
or you have to add times 10 to the power 1. That will give us 2.15 times 10 to the power 5 times 10 to the power 1, which is times 10 to the power 6. Equal is 601.3 times 10 to the power minus 3 is equal to 6.013 times 10 to the power minus 1. There are two decimal places movements or there are two movements to the left. When you move to the left, it means you are multiplying to the power you are multiplying by 10 to a positive power. When you move to the left, you are multiplying by 10 to a positive power. So that positive power here is 10 to the power 2. And 10 to the power 2 times 10 to the power minus 3 is 10 to the power minus 1. Example number 3, you have this number to simplify. And we must simplify as we ought to. So we can work as follows. We take the numbers that do not contain... The, the, the 10 raised to, the power, to various powers and we have 12.5 times 0 0.08 all that on 32.0 we simplify this part then for the powers you have 10 to the power minus 1 times 10 to the power 9 divided by 10 to the power minus 4 so we just subtract and this will give us 0 0.03125 times 10 to the power 12 but this is not in standard form. So this will finally be 3.125 times 10 to the power minus 2 times 10 to the power 12, which gives us 3.125 times 10 to the power 10. So thank you very much. And don't forget to attempt the quiz. Attempt the quiz because at the end of each chapter, we have quizzes. Attempt the quiz and don't forget to subscribe. We are equally on Facebook and we'll be having live classes uh, every weekend as well as quizzes and mocks at the end of each month. Tell your friends and share this information with others to better their results. Bye-bye.